So let's crush this workout the best way possible. Give everything you've got in your first cardio exercise. Simple step to plank, corkscrew. Ready, set, here we go. All the way, guys. We will begin more gentle with a step up, step. So we can wake up our body and set this workout for success and safety. Keep on working, guys. I need you to pick up the pace. We need to bring the heart rate up all the way. And if in the next two exercises, which we're doing in this round, without the weights, you will decide to do the step backs in a plank instead the burpees, which come in, you can always do that. Today we're targeting arms and abs and core. Of course, it's a full body workout, cardio and strings, guys. But we have a strong focus on the arms and core and abs. Keep on working. Your low impact today, if you choose to stay with me, is your bear, guys. Bear hover. You can also choose to walk around your mat. Finish strong, last one. That's it. Hold your bear, guys. Nice and quick. This workout will fly by super fast, like all of our workouts. I want you to do absolutely the best. Couple more seconds. Come on up. Your next exercise, your step or your burpee. We come back, lift the knee. We do the good quality rotation on the lower and mid section. Get ready, guys. Set, you can do your step backs. Here we go. Let's do it. We will alternate the sides. If you forgot which side you did, not a big deal. Just carry on, guys. Good job, guys. Come on, guys, keep on working. We got this one. Hit it, team. All the way. That is perfect. All the way through. That's it. Try to keep your arms, guys, higher than the waistline. On the level of your chest. And give me good rotation through the center, guys. Through the midline of your body. That's it. We're finishing. Don't quit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. All right. We never give up before the time is over. Last one. Come back with me to your bear hover or choose to walk around your mat. A few seconds left, guys. Come on up. Your next exercise, your burpee to your side plank. We're gonna do top knee crunch, bottom knee crunch. Come back through the step back or the burpee hop. And do the other side. Get ready. Set, muscle up team. Here we go. Side plank, hit it, hit it. Come on back up. Other side team, you don't have to hop. If you do the front, top first and bottom for the bottom first and top, it doesn't really matter, as long as you did both. Go, 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 go. I want those elbows and knees to meet in your crunch. That's it. Good job. Come on. Big one, one, two. Lead those elbows and those knees, guys, from the center. The movement initiated in the center of your body. We got this. That's it. That's it. We almost through the first block already. That's it. Last one. Hop back. Your burpee. This is our longer break. We can drink the water, stay hydrated, reevaluate if we started to give our absolutely best, guys. I want you to put your best self forward. All right, your commitment would lead to the exact results equal your commitment. You can see I'm using different size of dumbbells. For the next block, I'm gonna be using only one dumbbell. We do a lot of Kroger in chops for legs and arms. So we will begin with dumbbell overhead. 
Kroger to wood chopper. We will alternate the sides. Here we go. All the way, guys. Big rotation. Kroger. I want to see, guys, super wide legs. Toes out like a Kroger squat. And try to go lower than 90 degrees in that squat. So you can use those legs fully and you can always also use a good range of motion. I'm using eight pounder. That's my other set. The pink one is a five inch, so it's 10. I decided to go for a little bit heavier than five on one dumbbell. Good job. All the way. That's it. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Lower, squat, pivot, chop. Lower, squat, pivot, chop. We got this one. Finish strong. Last one. Excellent. That was challenging. Come on down to your bear. The next exercise will be Froger as well. We're gonna target the lower abs and the tricep in this exercise. Come on up. I'm gonna give you a quick demo. We will start with the dumbbell in the chest. You're gonna go to your Froger, do the one pivot in, that's your lower abs. Come on up, do the tricep overhead. Switch the sides, here we go. If you forgot which knee you pivot in, not a big deal. Carry on, guys. That's it. Give me good Froger, good pivot in, because this is what targets your lower abdomen. Makes it stronger, flatter, sucks the tummy in. Lifting those underneath muscles, your trance. That's good. Come on, guys. Lower. That's perfect. Don't quit. Good job. Up. Keep the tricep. Up. Tricep kickback. Keep those arms, guys, strong, please. That's it. Lower. Push it. Only one minute, guys. Only one minute. That's it. We can do one more. Final one. Excellent. Come on down, guys, in your bear. You've got this. Hold it with me. Just a few seconds. Your next exercise. Your, fro your Froger squat to the front slam from overhead position. I want you to use a lot of core when you do your slam. The wrist and elbows staying steady, guys. Kick it from the core. Lower. That's it, from the core, guys. Underneath, slam it under. That's it. Good job. Wrist and elbows, super steady, guys. Lower it even to the squat. That's it, you've got this one. Perfect. Slam it under. Under stronger. That's it. Stay with me, guys. Time is flying. We are already on the final exercise of the second block. Up and overhead. Slam under. We're using a lot of center, guys doing that dumbbell slam. That's it. That's perfect. Finish strong. Couple more, guys, don't quit. Give me one more. You've got this one. Put this dumbbell back. We're gonna go back to our bear. All the way, guys. This is our longer break. We're ready to hit the water bottle. Come on up. Beautiful work. All right, guys, your next block is without the weights. Nevertheless, it's extremely challenging for the arms and core if you should add the push-ups. You don't have to add the push-up in the plank. Take a look. It's gonna be your dog. Only one-sided exercise. Ankle tap plank or plank to push-up. Only one side, guys. Get ready. Set. Here we go. Push it. Again. Again, my friends, you don't have to do the push-up 
or you can do the push-up on your knees. This is the challenging one. I want you to return first to your dog, then hit your ankle with your hand. This is your stability. This is your balance. This is your arms. This is your abs, believe it or not. You don't feel it much here, but by stabilizing yourself in the down dog, single leg, single arm, that's really hitting your abs. We got this. Finish strong, guys. Beginners, you can skip the push up in between. Just return back to your plank. Finish strong. This was the last one. Back to where we did it, guys. All right. We have exactly the same one, but on the other side, my friends. Let's give the arms a quick break. All right, rotate to the other side. Get ready, guys. This time, arms a little bit wider for the regular push-up if you're doing your push-ups. If you're not doing your push-ups, then keep them shoulders width apart. Get ready, guys. Collarbones wide. Let's go. Other side. That's very nice. Hit the ankle. Hit it back first to your down dog. Then touch your ankle. This is a challenger for the core. That's it. Come on up. Touch. Give me the quality team. All right. Life is a process of learning and exploration. And this is our workbook, chapter one for today. Continuous learning and exploration, guys. We can't stop to learn and grow. That's it. Touch it. Finish it. Last one. We got this one. Do your pair, guys. Stay with me. Few seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, guys. Give your arms a few seconds. We're gonna go for the ankle in hand touch, but inside. Your push-ups are definitely optional with a two. Then we go for the push-ups on the knees or on the feet. Hips back. Begin with touch. One, two. Push down, plank. Shift it back. By lifting those ankles inward, you're activating your lower up so hard. One, hit it. Try to bring guys those feet higher. We got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pick up this tempo, guys, with me. Let's go. One, two. We've got this one. Arms giving up a little bit, but we are not. Remember. Continuous learning, exploration, and growing. Life is all about getting stronger, faster, better, better skills at work, better skills in relationship with people, better improve ourselves, guys. Continuous learning process. That was challenging. Come on down. Give me a few seconds here in the bear. Four, guys. Three. Two, one, and this is our longer break. Congratulations, round number three. Out of six active rounds, we have a yoga today at the end, 15 minutes, working on the back and hips, but we still have three hit rounds to go. All right, guys, your next block requires the dumbbell. Use the lighter dumbbell, we need only one. We're gonna go to the dolphin plank position, guys. It's gonna be your corkscrew to the side plank. Back to the front. Plank, corkscrew, lift, crunch. Back to the neutral position. Corkscrew, lift, crunch. Dumbbell back down. Back to the neutral position. Side plank, crunch it to your side plank through the half corkscrew up here. You've got this. In this exercise, we're targeting every single inch 
or a centimeter in your body, guys. All the way, heels, dumbbell, crunch it through the obliques. All the way, both arms working. One is a static work by holding the body weight. Another one, holding the dumbbell, your core. Beginners, if you have to be on your knees, that's okay. Finish strong. That's it. Don't quit, my friends. This is your last one. Excellent. This was a hard one. Come on down to your bear. Strong arms, strong chest, strong legs. Sexy arms. All right, guys. Exactly the same one. I'm gonna turn around on the sides. Make sure you give it a core screw, good one first, before you lift that arm. Right here, stuck your elbow and shoulder. Dumbbell straight, ready for a lift. Get ready, set, core screwed, lift, then crunch. Dumbbell back, back to the center, core screw, lift. Crunch through the obliques. That's it, we got this one. This is a challenger. Lift, guys. Crunch it back to the neutral dolphin plank on one arm. Lift, crunch. Draw that elbow to your knee in your crunch. That's it. We got this. Come on, team. Hit it. Finish strong, everybody. We got this, we almost threw. That's it. Come on guys, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, don't quit. Not yet. We can fit one more. That's it, I told you we can fit one more. Come on down. All right guys, quick bear pose. Nice and quick. Breathe actively. All right, my friends, your next exercise. You need just the one dumbbell. It's gonna be 90 degrees dumbbell fly from the dolphin plank. Walk to your bear. You're going to alternate the sides and then walk to your bear. Get ready, set, walk to your bear. Come back, fly. 90 degrees, switch the arms. 90 degrees, bear guys. We've got this one. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, walk to your bear, come back, lift, lift for good, come back, you have to have a dumbbell, which can stand guys, we got this one, a lot of stability and control in, this, in those abs, legs, in arms. That's it. Almost, guys. Push it through. Let's do final here. Fly. We got this. All right, that was challenging. We're going back to the bear. And this concludes our block number four already. Time is flying so quickly. All right, my friends. Come on down. Drink your water. All right. We are moving to the next block, which has no weight. This block, about the arms and abs. Of course, we're targeting the whole body. We're gonna be doing pie crunch all on one side, guys. And then after that, dolphin plank. So in the position, here we go. One, plank. You see how easy here to target your arms. You have to activate the center in your arms in order to get up in your plank. That's it. By crunch it really nicely, rotate, then side plank. By crunch, rotate, then side plank. Bike crunch, my friends. You've got this. Bike crunch. Quicker, guys. We don't have weights up here. Reach all the way. Reach higher plank. 
Lift, activate that arm and shoulder. Reach. That's it. Almost through, guys. Use your lower abs really actively to lift those legs. Last one. Last one, finish it. We got this one. Come on down. Excellent, guys. Come on down to your bear. Just a few seconds. Just acknowledge bear is here. Flat hands. We do, guys, exactly the same. I want you to really activate your lower abs in order, in order to hit it really, really good. All right, guys. Take your feet. Ready? Set, here we go. Give me a good pike crunch. You've got this. Reach. All the way. Give me good quality pike crunch. Lift those legs. Rotate and go to the side plank. First with the hips on the floor, then lift it to the full side dolphin plank. That's it. Itself, this movement of the rotation, hips up. So powerful on your core. But by activating the arm, it's become the full body exercise. That's it. Do not quit, team. Lift. Active lower abs, everybody. To lift those legs in the pike crunch. We got this one. Few seconds left. Do not quit. Lift. Last one, last one, last side plank. We got this. All right, my friends. Bear, come on down. Your next exercise in a seated position. Your dumbbell is absolutely optional. You don't have to have the dumbbell. If you choose to come with me, grab the lighter one. We have in lower leg lifts. I want your knees not to move. This is only from the lower abs. Hands on the floor. Lift the dumbbell or no dumbbell. Lower leg, guys. All the way. You see there is no movement in my knees. The whole movement is right here. I let my abs to do the work. You might start with your dumbbell if you did with me. Feel free to drop it and finish the exercise. Scoop the belly in. Don't move your knees. Guys, this is your ab movement. Contract, activate your abs to lift those legs. With dumbbell or without. Stay with me. Breathe. Lower abs, guys. Activate the abs to lift those legs. Don't move your knees. Knees are stable, just like in our tabletop position for the 100. Few seconds left. That's it. This was an ab killer. Absolutely ab killer. If you did it with me, especially if you did it with dumbbells, come on down. Stay with me, guys. Few seconds in your bear. Three, two, one. This is our longer break. Come on up. But drink your water, guys. Believe or not, and we are already on the block number six, which is the final active hit style block. Your dumbbells, guys, are optional in this block. So grab your dumbbell. Go down on your lower position. We ready for the roll up and teaser. Here we go. You don't have to use your dumbbell, but using the dumbbell, you make it much more challenging for arms and core. You can lift one leg at a time. You can also bend your knees for the teaser, guys. Roll it up. Lift those legs, guys. If you're using the dumbbell with me, keep the dumbbell over hot on the lower position. Keep it tight, guys. I want you to stay safe. Use your lower abs and middle abs section to lift those legs. It's getting harder towards the end. That's it. Stay with me, stay with me. We got this one. Come on up. All right, 
so we don't flow up and down all the time. Go ahead and come with me to the reverse tabletop. Your next exercise is going to be crisscross ankles, roll up to the crunch. We don't need to have our weights here. So let's put this weight away for safety. If you use it in the first exercise, you will switch your ankles in your teaser. You can also, guys, bend your knees. Three, two, one. Switch, then crunch. Come back. All the way. Don't forget to lift, then switch. This is a lot of up work when you switch in those ankles. All the way back down. Reach. Lift, switch, crunch. Knees over the obliques. Lift, switch, knees over the obliques. Take them down. Lift, guys. All the way, switch. Knees over the obliques. Take them back down, then roll back. Lift, switch. We got this. This is a hard one. Switch. Knees over the obliques. Come on up. Switch, guys. We got this. We can fit one more. Lift, switch those ankles, stretch. We got this. All right. Up for tabletop, your final exercise is gonna be on your forearms. We're gonna go for the extended leg hold on the forearms in a seated position, knees down towards the floor, just like we do our pendulum. Elbows on the floor, underneath the shoulders, guys. We're gonna take the legs up, scoop the belly in, lower the legs, bend the knees, Lift them back up, lower the legs, bend your knees all the way to the side, extend, lower the legs, bend your knees, extend, lower the legs, bend your knees, push it, lower, bend, to the side. You're gonna feel each and every inch of those abs if you keep your upper body steady and just pivot through the hips and draw the knees towards the floor. Bend, pivot, keep the upper body steady. Lower, bend, pivot, finish strong, guys. By itself to hold those legs low. Watch your abs, guys, scoop the belly in. It's already a challenger. That's it, last one. I am so proud of you guys. Let's go for the final bear. Hands under knees. The shoulders. Stay with me. Give me a good quality hold, team. A few seconds left. We're going to drink our water. And yes, and yes, and yes, you are right. We do have a finisher. Before we start our yoga, quick yoga session. Our finisher today is a plank to the dolphin plank. Quick four count run. We go back to the plank, we do quick four count run. Ready, set, here we go. Come back up, quick. You've got this, come on down. So that's your arms, your shoulders, your abs of course. Quick, 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 quick guys. Come on up. That's it. We finish it together. Try to run quicker, faster, and closer to your face. Do your best, guys. Whatever thing you've got in that run. Come on up. That's it. Almost through. Don't quit, my friends. We're gonna finish together this finisher. Come on up. Last second. That was absolutely amazing commitment, everybody. I'm so proud of you. So take your shoes off or keep them on. Whatever you decide to do, drink your water. And we begin 
our yoga section of this workout. All right, my friends, we worked so hard and we deserve a good quality straightening exercises. So let's begin by sitting up here, feet crisscrossed, and we will go first through the circles all the way, guys, above the floor. Let's give that spine in the midsection the freedom and let go of all of the tension from our six hit style blocks. Go ahead and just give it a few more in this direction. You can close your eyes. You can keep the eyes open. It doesn't matter. It's just a little bit easier and faster to reconnect and get into the flow. Sometimes with your eyes closed. And let's take it to the other direction. Just a gentle rotation. Eventually, when it feels safe, Include the shoulders, maybe even a little bit of the neck. Scoop the belly at the back. Relax at the front. And one more, guys, on this side. All the way. Excellent. Take it all the way back and give the shoulders a good quality rotation, guys. All the way. Inhalation. Exhalation. Reverse them. All the way. That's it. And the next one, let's take our arms all the way above the head. And for my beginners, guys, you will work just with upper body. So up here, express, and then scoop it back down. For my intermediate and advanced, we're going to lift the hips off the ground, reach up, relax the head and neck, return back and scoop the belly. We will repeat it a few more times as a flow. Shoulders away from the ears, guys. Reach up. And back again. Let's do one more. And hold this time a little bit longer. It feels so, so, so good. Come on back, guys, to the center. As I said, today we're working on the back and hips in our yoga section of this workout. Let's begin on a kneeling position. Cut and cow. Simple and very, very effective. Just up and down. All the way. Inhalation. Exhalation. We will add a little extended leg and knee to the nose. Only if you're ready, guys. Reach. We want to give that back even more freedom. Reach. Mm -hmm. And we have a couple more on this side. We've got this. Reach. And let's hold it together. Knee towards the nose or chin chest or belly. Beautiful. Take it back and sway the hips side to side. Sit them one side. Then sit them another side. Let's do one more for Mitch. And come on back all the way to the center. We will take the other leg up, knee towards the nose, or at least towards the chest. That feels so good. And a couple more times on this side. Reach all the way up and open. Hold it with me. Just a few breaths, few seconds. Take it back and we will sway the hips side to side just a couple more times all the way that's very good and come on come on back down to the center take your knees slightly wider we'll begin a new flow our child pose knees wide shoulders fully relaxed and then take it back to the cobra or the dog guys if this position of the wrist of a shoulder one on top of another is a little bit too much, move your hands up front or go on your elbows. Take your balls, feet together, toes together, back to the child, back is fully relaxed, undo your feet, take it back up. So here we are taking care of our back and our hips as well by taking those feet from the Narrow position, big toes touching to the big toes. 
separate and spread in a cobra dog or sphinx. Let's do one more. Feel free, guys. Try to move the shoulders away from the ears. Do not hurry up. Mm -hmm. We will take ourselves back to the tabletop position. Your knees are still wider, guys. You will tuck your toes and come on up with me. We do a quick series on the back bends, guys. We will begin with a gentle lateral bend. Just to be up here, it's already challenging, so if you need to bring your knees closer and separate your feet, this is totally fine. Otherwise, flow with me to the side with a good quality lateral bend. Breathe actively through the nose in, through the nose out, look up towards that extended arm, guys. That's it. And let's go to the other side. Touch the floor, straight through the lateral bend. Excellent, try to not drop that arm. Reach all the way up and straight and soft elbows. Breathe, feel in the straighten in the midsection. Excellent, take your hands back, draw your knees closer, feet separate. We're gonna go for the gentle one-sided back bend. So before you're going to start to take your Shoulders over the ceiling. I want you to be able to reach back and shift the hips forward. Then express for the ribcage, and maybe only then start to shift the chest up. Mm -hmm. And coming back. And I say maybe because we all have, we all could have some injuries through the years. So what I want you to do to see if you can reach the ankle. And if not, then send your hand on the waistline behind, right on the lower back. Reach first, hips push them forward, express with the heart, and only then continue to dive into your back bend or camel pose or strasana. Come on back up and let's give it a quick counter stretch. Take your hands inside, knees underneath the hips, give it a good up and down cat and cow and we're using the different hand position to vary for our arms and shoulder stretches and do it one more time that feels so good all right guys we're gonna go ahead and take this right foot for me for you it can be a different side but it doesn't matter we're gonna do both so front knee above the front ankle and tuck your toes in between so you have a little bit more stability of the back foot. Reach all the way up. And again, my friends, you don't have to reach all the way towards the ankle. So the leg is up front, the same side arm is gonna go to the opposite ankle today. Make sure you're safe and stable first, then shift the weight slightly more forward, reach up and over only if it goes well or you can send that hand at the back like you're trying to slide your hands in the back pockets of your jeans. Come back guys to the center successfully. We will take this slack and try to extend it up front. Now I want you to release your toes because this way you're going to have more stability up here. Square your hips, try not to fold the knee inside because that's gonna, gonna cause you a lot of disbalance. So you don't have to do that. If you can catch up on the balance here, this is okay. You just bend your knee back where it was. Now we will take the opposite arm to your hand. Take it back on your heel and express, guys. Inhalation through the nose. Exhalation through the nose, hips forward, heart up. Get ready to activate your abdomen and return back to the front. Let's fold forward and lift the front toes and go ahead and send your belly down towards the quadricep. A few more breaths up here. That feels so good. Let's switch to the front. Take your hand all the way on the floor and look all the way up and around. Side, 
Where's that more light? Excellent. We're going guys back to our back pants. Coming up up here. And we will take this time our other leg. Whatever you did, just do the other one. Tuck your toes, front knee above the front ankle. Square the hips first. We will go with opposite. So we will take the same side arm with your leg up front, just like we already did. And we will drive it toward the opposite ankle. Toes on the floor. Square the hips. Shift the weight slightly forward. C curve. And just do what you can do the best. So exhalation and inhalation. Keep on breathing. That's gonna help you to sustain the balance. Come on back up. Now, if you need to put something soft underneath your knee, always consider to have extra towel or cushion. We're going to send this leg up front. Try to have guys your hips square. See if you can release your toes. If in order for you to reach up over the heel, you need to have the heels lifted, then do that, or you can use the lower back. So find stability up here. We're going to reach behind, shift the hips slightly forward, and express active legs, active back, guys. In order for you to safely and easily to come up, activate your midsection, guys, all the way. Come on back to the front. Lift your toes and we forward fold again. All the way, your back, your hips. Breathe actively, guys. Excellent. And come on back up. Shift the weight forward, low lunge. When the back knee is pretty far away from the front ankle, take your hand and go for the little reverse position. Open it up. That is perfect. Come on back, guys. And draw this knee back. We're going for half virasana first. So I want you to take your one leg up front and straight. And your another one, as per you can do, it can be in a half hero pose, half your asana, or if you have to turn it in, you can do that as well. You can also move it slightly outside of the base, that's going to make it a little bit easier. If you do sit up here, I want you to pull your glutes out, you can also sit on your block to elevate, and make sure guys that nothing really bothering you here, your knees your back if it does then switch the position of your legs for now make sure you sit nice and leveled on the both seat bones and we will take the hands up front to begin with and you can always remain in this position without doing an extras extra add-on sense as we're gonna go through in a second so keep holding your eyes closed or open whatever feels right Breathe in and breathe out and beginners, you can stay just right here or you will take the same side arm, which is your extended leg and give me the good extension first. So if your left leg is extended, your left arm is going to go up. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then come back, this left is going to go all the way behind the one which was extended and the other arm is going to go underneath and bind if you can't bind those hands guys i need you to use strap or towel piece of clothing a new jacket right just make sure that you can connect and it doesn't matter if it's a few inches you need to extend or even more but if you sit in right here and you connect it makes no sense I want you to find then your strap or jacket or towel and use those tools, but keep sitting nice and open so you can breathe. Breathe actively because lack of oxygen will make it much more harder to stretch and rest your body. All right, let's slowly undo this and we pull forward, guys. And again, you don't have to. You can sit up and straight and continue to grow in that 
form a little bit deeper or you can come up with me and pull forward slightly more. That's good. And it's time for us to switch the direction. So extend your other leg. Take it to the half virasana or up front, just like we did. If you're sitting up here, make sure that you pull extended leg glute out so you sit nice and leveled, guys. That's important. And let's begin with the hands up front of the chest, up front of the heart. Close your eyes, take a breath. It was a challenging training session. We did it together. Now, take the same side arm, so your extended leg. The same side arm is gonna go for overhead extension. Take your other behind and open, guys. That is it. Very good. Be careful on the shoulders. Come on back up. This arm which is extended is gonna go this time on top and the other is gonna go behind. I want you guys all to be able to bind with the hands. But if it's not there, I don't want you to stress about it. Just use anything which can extend that grip. It can be your towel again, if you have a professional yoga strap, it can be your t-shirt, right? Or any other piece of material. Just make sure you use it, guys. Because if you have that bind, but you barely can breathe, again, it makes a very little sense. So I want you to be able to sit up tall. This is a requirement to be able to breathe and of course be able to smile because everything is easier with the smile. And let's hold it for a breath or two. And we will undo the arms. Choose to sit up here, come out and go to your child pose or touch your foot and fold forward. And if you can touch and reach the left, Sit whatever you can, guys. Maybe it's just a little bit lower today than yesterday. All right. Flexibility is so important to the health of the body. Mm -hmm. And give it another press. Feeling so good. Back up, guys. And we will slowly take our both knees together or slightly separate. If you need to sit on the block underneath your hips, you can definitely do that. If nothing works, guys, you have your blocks, but it's still hero pose is not there for you. Try not to sit on your feet. Try not to do this because then it makes no sense because you're missing all the purpose of it. What I want you to do is still do this, but shift the weight slightly to the front and just give it a little bit up here. Maybe you will elevate your blocks a little bit higher today. For those who can sit up here, we sit here with the hands up front. If that's somehow challenging, right? If that's completely easy for you and your hips are so open today, you're feeling so good, then your next thing is gonna be to go on your elbows, guys, to recline hero pose now. If you're not sitting on the floor and your knees are not together, do not go there yet. If this one is super easy for you, and I know some of you are very flexible, then go for the more intermediate and advanced variation when your back is on the ground. But little warning here, I want you to feel absolutely comfortable. Maybe that's challenging, but it doesn't give you any sharp pains and aches. This is not acceptable for this training and for any training per se. So make sure you change the form if that's happening. And take a couple of extra breathing cycles. And we will slowly come back up, guys, together. Hold the way. Let's take one leg out. As we look out, and we go for a seated forward fold. First of all, level yourself in a seated position. Take your arms all the way up, and fold forward. Give it a good quality stretch of the spine. That feels so good, and it doesn't have to be the full forward fold. 
just whatever you can do guys but practice so from neutral back and come on back down we will take our horse feet before we lay down in the bound angle feels good makes a wondrous happen with the hips so find the good healthy position if your knees are bothering you being on the side you can put the blocks under or you can just switch the position for any other fits to your practice today let's take the arms behind take a big breath reach all the way make it feel good and then slowly guys bring your both knees together and draw your one knee at a time towards your chest squeeze it give it a good hug and do the same from the other side we deserve the good gentle stretching session let's take the pose legs up and point your toes up open up in the straddle feels amazing on the hips and hip flexor take your both feet on the floor on the toes arms on the side and just give it a little side straight drop those knees just like your windshield in the legs in the other direction face opposite direction from your knees if you can and let's slowly give a hug to the both knees and make your way guys back however you can make it let's go ahead and reach up as always at the end of our yoga session take your hands up front hold your heart close your eyes just so we can connect and reconnect back with our true selves invite anything you want inside that body success passion about life health vitality healing because anything is possible look inside that heart guys open your eyes smile with your heart and smile outside as well and your smile might change someone's life today namaste everybody very very good job team i'm so proud of you and your day 17 is officially complete reach all the way up guys give yourself a good round of applause because you did so good and that was a challenging session don't forget to go through your workbook for a continuous learning assessment we must grow and expand in order to progress all right guys rest well recover well and i will see you all tomorrow for the day 18.